Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Lord Forward. So we are on the hunt for the Lash Shrine. And I have a sneaking suspicion it may be back where we started in the same cave or the area. Mainly because um, we have these objects here. So... Nope, that didn't work. Let's try that again. I think I'm in the right spot. It's, we just got this power pretty recently, and now we're having to use it in an area we couldn't get to before. I love how it takes us the same length of time to burrow through one tiny area as it does to, like, a huge cliff. Okay, so I gotta be rather fast about that. Okay, well, I don't know if that was where I was supposed to go, but it's certainly something. Um, let's put on a different weapon, though. I don't want to use up my good weapon if I don't have to. I'd say we found it. Awesome. Notch Noah Shrine. What do you have to say? This is a crystal refinery. You can I can take your crystallized charges and use them to reduce energy wells. An energy well. Oh the capacity, yes. I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Should I begin production? Get producing. One hundred crystallized charges. The mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there is enough left to produce an energy well. But there's more to be had. Check the distant depth of the world below. That is the original source. Or its original source. Okay, so if we get a hundred things, we can come back and enhance it. This is a pretty important location. Um, let's go do the shrine first. The Green Hand of Link unlocks new area. So, what do we think? New ability? I say, I'd say there's a pretty good chance we get a new ability. Or at least Weird Space or Weird Sky Lemur Dude is probably going to appear. No! Okay, so it's just all about the rewinding ability. Okay. That not that hard for us to do. Cha ching got through. I like the little melody they make when you make it make it somewhere. Oh, it's teaching us we can go up waterfalls with the rap. That is kinda cool. Rafts and waterfall. Where's the next raft, though? Ah, there it is. Oh. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Not good. Link, get out of there. My bad. I didn't think Link would jump that far forward. Also, it kind of looks like there might be something under the waterfall. Am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. Okay, and uh, jump and rewind. Going up, everyone. And I'm an idiot because I've jumped out of the raft. Okay, there we go. That was almost disastrous. Okay, there's a chest up there, so again, kind of nice and easy. Okay. 
I do like the rewind ability. Um, definitely useful. Can I rewind time? Oh no, I can't rewind time on a chest. That would have been funny. I rewound time on the chest and the item reappeared. Okay. So. Okay, so I've got to basically get them like that. Not hard at all. We're still on Tutorial Islands. Pretty crazy to think about how long it's take us, taken us to get off Tutorial Islands. We got another Light of Blessing. Time to go enhance our hit points. So now we're back to the temple. Um, probably to get health. I'm going to imagine health, not stamina. Although I'd love to get more stamina. Let's see what's out this exit, though. I am kind of curious. Oh, is it going to be another? It's going to be another one of the dumb glider things. Do we want to take the glider? I think I want to find out what's up here first. Sorry, I know people want me to progress the story, but um, finding out what's up top would be kind of cool too. Ah, there's a chest. Good. Rewarding exploration. Ah, we got another wing. Eh. Vaguely useful, I guess. Whoa! Did that bird try to attack me? Weird ostrich-like bird with aggressive. I don't think there'll be anything up there, but hey. At least they'll give us, give us a decent view. Oh, it's just a simple examine for a stupid Korok. Oh, this was a wasted trip, clearly. I see some apples and then we'll head back. Need some food. Great view from up here of a lot of different islands. I feel like I'm in Minecraft or something, like Sky Islands. Okay, can I not teleport to the Temple of Time? I can't. That's why they gave us the wings. They're not going to allow me to simply teleport back. There's another apple up that tree. Got it. As of course, we've already seen how dangerously strong all the uh, mobs in this area are. Want to be well fed and well armed. Sadly, have not found an area where I could theoretically farm some decent weapons. Yeah, nope. I lost that one. Oh, wait, can I get it back? Nope, lost it. Okay, so once again, I fail at a basic task. 
Ouais. Okay, prepare for launch, and we're off. Now I just gotta drop it in front of the Temple of Time without killing myself. Oh, shoot. Um, I think we're dead. Yeah, we're almost definitely dead. Uh... Maybe we can get into that water? Nope. We died. You really can't move that much while skydiving in this game, which is... ...unfortunate. And also very illogical at the same time. Because you can move a decent distance when skydiving. It was also really stupid of me to just walk off the edge like I did there. Now I have to re-go get the apples. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Not very easy to get to this apple. Gosh. I understand they're trying to emulate trees, but would it have really caused them that much trouble to make the trees a little bit easier to get up and down? There we go. Uh, I'm just going to teleport to something pretty close. Oh, rip. <laughs> nah. Actually, you know what? I, I want to teleport, but I really should learn how to use the gliders. Since I don't think they're giving us the glider of the original game, which is really annoying, actually. I bet you if you really wanted to, you could land on a lot of these other islands um, using the gliders around the place, but I don't really want to, if that makes sense. Because at this point, anything we get is going to be almost useless. But maybe the goal here is not to try and fly the glider into the lake, but to get over the lake and then just jump. Because I bet you you could land in that one right there if you really wanted to. Now, the trick is going to actually be a little bit that I actually land in the lake. Not on the causeway. There we go. I think I got it. Yep, there we go. First fall from that height would have still killed us, but whatever. Video game logic. Okay, let's get off Tutorial Island, finally. I'm dying for some open world of an open world game. Oh. Kind of weird I can't teleport to the statues. I guess you could... Hmm? Hmm. Feels like I should have been able to teleport to these statues. Going back. Take the shortcut. Let's try this again. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. Give me a heart container, please. The very elaborate heart containers. 
Oh, that was odd. Oh, we're just getting back the health that we lost at the beginning. That's how they're excusing it. Interesting. So, um, trying again. Still not enough? Seems odd. Oh, there it is. I must have let go too quickly before. Survived with a quarter of heart. Epic slow motion door opening. Finally. Oh, I wanted him to pop out of the arm like Fee from Fi or Fee from uh, Skyward Sword. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief. I'm so happy that we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. Oh, he's finally disappearing. Okay. Find Princess Zelda. Mark two. Mark three or four. Um... I bet you this is going to be the way we get around a lot. Mole link time. There we go. Got it. Same thing again. Can't you just give us back the glider? Seems like a lot of work to make us walk. You know, like 50 feet. What the heck is this? Okay, so we're in the ruins of the Temple of Time. And there's a weird glowing gold substance. Oh, hey, the Master Sword's resonating. Stick the sword into the light? So we just sent the sword back in time to Zelda? Interesting.
Yeah, you just lost the Master Sword, Link. <gasps> That's not good. Oh, wait, it's a dragon. That's probably decent then. So, to the kingdom of Hyrule. I'm guessing taking the water down would be a smart move. So vaguely familiar. Ooh, I just missed that lily pad by inches. Um, can I even get to shore easily from here? Not if Link drowns himself under a lily pad. Come on, Link. Ay -ay -ay. Let's go this way. I think this will be our best bet. You'd think after all the time with him getting along with Zoras and stuff, he'd have learned to swim properly. We've made it to Hyrule. We've got the volcano. We've got the castle. Okay, I guess we go where the game's telling us to go. To find Zelda. Which, obviously, is... Hyrule Castle. Uh, this looks somewhat more interesting down here. Although that does look like a monster. It is a monster. Who threw a rock at me? Who threw an apple at me? Well, convenient when the enemies come with their own healing items with on them. And now we got the Bokoblin Horn. The Bokoblin Fang. These seem very gaily familiar. Okay, what's going on here? Oh. I guess we could theoretically make a cart. Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use this material ca cache for all your building needs. Come find us if you like a dream of Hudson Construction. Okay. So Hudson, Hudson Construction is still around, I guess. Good for Hudson and his, uh, the Sun Company. Can't remember what they're actually called. It's just I remember everyone in it had to have the name Stun as the last in their last name. I see peppers. Huh. 
hoblin camp. No need to fight them unless we really wanted to waste time. Good, no Koroks. Nah, I don't want to go over there. We might as well get to the goal so that then we can get uh, sidetracked by the fact that we can't rescue Zelda at the moment. Boy, there's a lot of Bokoblins in this area. I feel like this is something I should be semi-concerned about. Because it looks like the kingdom... Oh, you got a Hyrule Herb! Okay, healing item, always good. Some chews over there. This looks like someone's building something. Catapult, maybe? Oh, well, this is where I'm supposed to go anyhow. Okay. There must be somebody over here. Maybe it's going to be uh, some of the Sheikah people. I just hope it's not those evil Sheikah characters who drove me nuts last game ambushing me. Lookout Landing. <gasps> Wait a minute. What do you think you're doing? Oh, Robbie. Joshua needs that for chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. Hey, hey, you! Where have you been? Yeah. For a Cura's assistant there, right? Don't answer that. Tell me that later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with a telescope up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will you? Okay. Telescope. Oh, right here. Nice and easy when they tell you uh, where to go. Doc looks busy. Joshua. That hair. Those eyes. D -d Doc. Dr. Pura. The swordsman. The swordsman has returned. <laughs> this is the uh, old lady who got transformed into a girl, right? Has she grown up at all? Looks like she has. Okay. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? The head of Lookout Landing, and also an insane researcher. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then, Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, 
saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rung. The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. When you put it like that, it sounds pretty unbelievable. Huh? Then? What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Rauru you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Wasn't that also the sage in, like, Orcarina of Time or something? Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain the mummy you found on the castle must be rated to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky, the mummy must be connected to it somehow. And then there's the most important detail of all. Are you sure you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that was truly the princess, then that means she's still alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Nah, she's not under the castle. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for the two of you. The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. I know that mummy may be still lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. How is the mummy not one of... Mm. Makes no sense. The mummy is a major problem. I'm counting on you, Linky. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Kira, the highest authority on ancient technology, has served Princess's Zelda family for much of her life. It has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She's used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her age to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Yes. Okay. That's done. Neat. Now, uh, is there anything to loot here? I kind of feel like there should be some loot or something. There's whatever this is. No, don't climb it, Link, you idiot. Okay, well, considering we were told to go to the castle, I think we'll go to the castle and come back here later to progress this whatever's going on here. Because I suspect seeing ancient technology in what appears to be a hot air balloon, um, we can't do anything till we progress the story. Also, Pose. Are Pose going to be a thing in this game? The weird annoying ghosts of the long ago Zelda games? Even Pura's stump. Oh. Hard to believe these ruins just fell down from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's all so strange, huh? Oh. It sure is, but also a great opportunity. All of us in the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Mm. While Pura's investigating the upheaval, she's certain it'll provide clues about Princess Zelda. But progress isn't great, I've heard. Is the princess all right, wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional. Really. Who cares about a time like this? This guy right here kind of looks like one of the guys from Skyward Sword. Anyhow, let's climb up here and see what is up here. Considering they were there, there's probably something to do up here. Maybe? Maybe not? There it is. Oh, it's a caretaker. Ah, it's a crystal refinery. There we go. Okay, well, it's good to know I don't have to go up to the island again to refine the crystals. 
conveniently right next to the main settlement. Or a main settlement, I guess. I suspect we'll have to head to Zoro's Domain, the Gordon Town, the Gadruo Town, all those standard places. Also, shrines I see on the map already. Well, I want to hit this shrine for sure. If we can. Silent Princess. This lovely flower is said to be a favorite of the Princess Hyrule. They were once feared to have gone extinct, but it's not uncommon to see them growing in the wild. Uh, examine. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the Calamity. Zelda. Why is it there, though? It, 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 it feels a little out of place right there. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this is going to be like one of these places in the game that slowly gets improved as things go on. Traveler's Claymore, Traveler's Spear. Okay, so there is loot for us here. An acorn. Okay. Good to know there is stuff we can steal. Without getting in trouble. Let's try and... Where to begin? What do you say? Why, huh? ah, you scared me. What are you doing at such an hour? The Hyrule Castle, Katsum is nearby. It's dangerous, you know. Mm. For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days. What with the upheaval? Ah. More like chasms. You know, the creepy up openings in the ground ever since the upheaval? They're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines, not chasm. Talk about shrines. Huh? You mean like the one right here? When the shrine appeared, they caused su such a commotion they landed in the newspaper? Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight with smack on the front page, you know. They have newspapers? Okay. So so far, we know they're from the Age of Legends, but they did. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And what? And just what are they anyway? Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all the things that have sprung up through the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which would be scary. So we need to investigate them, pronto. Oh yeah, the people from the search party are putting long hours at Hyrule Castle. I intend to do the same. Okay, let's head into the shrine and let you be awed by the green hand of Link. Are we going to get to see the person in the background freaking out? That would be accurate. Whoa, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Huh? What is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, at least she reacted to the fact we opened a green, glowing, fiery door into nothing. Interesting. So, we have to rediscover the whole map. I wonder if it's the same map as the first one. Or similar enough. I mean, it looks similar, but... Combat training. Kinosis Shrine. Oh, joy. Okay, let's try Traveler's Claymore. Oh no, is it? Oh boy. Oh joy. Oh bother. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered here. Heard my instruction. Oh, it's a tutorial? Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay, target, strafe, and jump. And then, blurry rush. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attack and create an opening to strike back. Similar instruction, I suspect. Backpedal and jump. Flurry Rush again. Okay. If you retele 
You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Okay, ready shield and parry. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, come on. There we go. Nope. Nope, that wasn't it either. Nope. Boy, this parrying in this game is way harder. By the time I start the parry, he's already struck. We can't parry when he's in the middle of the swing either. Yes, I'm parrying at the right time, game. Nope. Well, we're gonna die to this guy. Come on. There we go. Finally. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charger time. Hit your enemies in this motion to damage them. Yeah, I've already done this multiple times in this game, but... Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. That was a very hard parry. Not gonna lie. I did a lot of parrying in the first game to get further. That was rather difficult. Uh, Zonite sword. Okay. Um, oh, bother. Okay. And then we get healed because we completed a shrine. Another light of blessing. Fair enough. May the light of blessing grant you the bla light of blessing grant you the power you see. Okay. Wow. First shrine on the surface stone. And they just taught us how to fight, basically. Okay, I am going to run over here. Just to see what is here, and then we will probably stop for the episode. Although, considering there's a better shield, I may get rid of that to get that. Okay, well... That will be it for this episode. Next time, we will head up towards the castle, where we're almost certain to run into trouble. So, thank you guys all for watching, and see you all next time. Bye for now.